I am kind of a time blocking person and I always have to open my browser to access my Google Calendar. That extra step of opening the browser always resulted in me skipping the habit after a week or so. You might have guessed it how excited I was when I got to know that Notion Calendar was coming. So let's see how good it is. Hey what's up my name is Shivam and if at any point you would like to check it out then you can do so from the description below. To get started, you have to download their Notion Calendar app. Just like Notion, it is available for free. As of now, it is separate from the main Notion app and I prefer it that way because you don't get lost while going back and forth if it was to be in the same app. Once you have downloaded the app, you have to connect your Google Calendar and you can connect as many Google Calendars as you like. First thing you will notice is how clean and minimal it is. It has a beautiful UI and it is quite easy to use. If you are active on YouTube about productivity, you might notice that this looks similar to Chrome Calendar. Yes, it is. Chrome Calendar is the former Notion app and if you input this command in the command bar it will turn the notion calendar logo back to chrome calendar logo Using the app is quite easy. You have a very similar user experience to Google Calendar. We get a calendar view on the top left. Below we have various calendars followed by a Notion database. We'll talk about this in a minute. On the right we have upcoming meetings, scheduling snippets and shortcuts. In the middle we have view itself. We get the option to choose between day, week and month view from the top right corner along with the option to choose a specific number of days in a week view. I like to keep it at 7. You create events just just like you would on Google Calendar by dragging on the day. When you do that, it will show all the event details on the right side. From there, we can add things like name, repeat, participants, location, docs and links and choose a calendar. Or instead, dragging to create an event, you can also press C on your keyboard. Yes, it does have shortcuts. Not just that, it also has command bar like Mac OS. From the command bar, we can operate the Notion calendar without having to touch the mouse. A feature that will excite a lot of people is the option to connect Notion database. Yes, we can connect that and all the data could be linked with your Notion calendar. So if we change the deadline of a project in the calendar, it will be automatically updated in the Notion database or vice versa. This is a game changing feature. Another feature that would help a lot of users is the option to share schedules. You can create time slots available for the day and it will generate the snippet for you like this. Then we can share this with our clients and they can book their slots at their end. There is no need to worry about double booking too. Keep the good features coming. Next is the ability to connect Google Meet and Zoom. So meeting could be created directly from the calendar app. I know this feature brought a smile on a lot of faces. Last but not least, if you're using it on a Mac, it will notify you about the time left and the upcoming events, which does a favor of making a time pressure and to wrap things up quickly. Rest you can roam around in the settings to tweak according to your liking. I have to say that this is indeed the best calendar app for me and I'm hoping for you too. I have been using it since the launch and my habit is sticking with me so far. I think I'm going to stick with this. Anyways, that's it for today. Now, if you are looking for the best cloud storage service, then this video will definitely help. And if you are in the hunt for the best PDF apps, then there you go. Like, share, subscribe, stay safe. Bye-bye.